This is our silver birch quilting kit. Uh, it's part stitched so that you can see all the different stitch techniques that we can do in it. I've mounted uh, the, the piece on a, a small tapestry frame. But when you get your kit, you'll find in the kit that there are layers of fabric. Uh, so you have three layers of fabric. One has the design printed on uh, and the other is to create the padding and the backing fabric. So where you, uh, to start with, just pin all the layers together, a bit like a sandwich, and then just tack a couple of lines all the way over it so you're holding the three layers together. And then I put mine on my frame. So going back to my actual design, you've got a range of colours in here. You've got some neutral colours. You've got some colours for the silver birch to wrap the trees. You've got some nice, gentle colours to create the textures in and the stitching. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, is are the, really the three layers. There are th several types of quilting here. So where you're stitching through the fabric and all the three layers, I would call that English quilting, and it's all worked by hand. And where you're stitching, you'll get the indentations in the fabric. And then also, uh, some of the pebbles here, they're stitched, uh, it's called trapunto quilting, where you stitch through all the layers and then from the back of your work you just make an incision and then you push the padding in there and that makes uh, the stones appear as if they're raised above the surface. So that's Trapunto quilting. And it's a, fun, it's a fun project to do because there are lots of different techniques. They're not a lot of colour, we've got some great wooden beads, we've got some grasses, but the feature I suppose of this design is uh, the, uh, the, lay the trees, the wrapping of the trees. So I'm going to show you that first uh, to start with. So I'm just going to turn my work upside down just so that you can see how it's done. So to start off with, uh, in the instructions obviously it tells you how to, to do the wrapping, but basically you're going to use the yarn over the print and you're going to wrap the thread around the yarn to create the textures of the bark and the textures of the branches. All right, so if you are starting off, you can either bring the thread from the base and just continue wrapping. And then as you work up the tree, you split off branches. So you can see that on these ones, and there is a print to follow so that you can twist and turn uh, the branches. So to start off with, the first thing that you're gonna do is just take the thread and you can just almost bury it into the yarn to start off with. So you're just going to take the yarn and just bury that inside the yarn. Just pull that and that'll be enough to secure that. And then I'm going to use the eye of the needle just to go round and round. And it's that that covers the yarn and obviously doesn't have to be neat so that the bark you're creating is quite textured and then as you work up the tree you can split off the branches so there's no wire inside the branches it's all yarn and then when you want to make the branches finer you just split one off and carry winding up the bark and the same way to fasten off when your thread is running out you're just going to insert it through the core of the, of the yarn and that's enough to, to secure it. So it's lovely to do and you can intertwine the branches and make them as, ma as many interesting shapes as you like. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how to do one of the pebbles. I've cut a rough circle uh, in the knitted jersey which you'll, you'll get in your kit and I'm just going to do a small running stitch all the way around the shape Small, fairly small stitches. You can do that in a one strand or a two strands. It doesn't have to be too small or too large. Just, just run round uh, the edge of the fabric and you're gonna make a pebble with the wadding. That'll be included in your kit. And obviously, as well as the pebbles that you're going to make, there are lots of beads as well. So you just, Go all the way around the shape and as you approach the 
this end of the circle, you're just going to take some wadding and then you're just going to take some little bits of the wadding and you're just going to fill the center of the pebble. And as you draw up the thread, you're going to get a nice padded round shape. And when you have pushed all the padding inside, you can keep the same thread and you can go all the way across, just push all the wadding inside and then you're just going to take a small stitch to hold that in place. Just work around the whole of the pebble. Don't make them too large, you know, just not great big boulders on there. You want just nice dainty pebbles. And when you've closed up all the wadding, you're then going to attach it to wherever you want it to be on your work and just use a couple of stitches. Doesn't matter where you can work out when you can develop the design and add as much or as, um, as little as you wish. So you're just going to take that, you're just going to take that through to the other side and just add a couple of stitches all the way around just to hold it in place. And then you can have it look really interesting with just neutral colours. I think you'll enjoy this project.